Imagine this, you're driving down the highway in your Ford Escape. The ride is smooth, the turbocharged EcoBoost engine is humming along nicely, and you feel confident that your fuel-efficient car will get you to your destination with no issues. But then, it happens. The check engine light suddenly flashes, your temperature gauge spikes. You hear a strange knocking sound. Before you can react, smoke starts billowing from under the hood. You pull over in a panic, only to see coolant leaking everywhere. Within minutes, your car refuses to restart. For thousands of Ford owners, this isn't just a one-off experience. It's a common and costly disaster. Ford's EcoBoost engines, once marketed as an efficient and powerful alternative to traditional engines, have been plagued by catastrophic failures, class action lawsuits, and expensive repair bills. But what went wrong? And more importantly, how did Ford fix it, if at all? In this deep dive, we'll uncover the most common Ford EcoBoost failures and why they happen. Real-world cases of drivers losing thousands due to defective engines. Ford's response to lawsuits, recalls and repairs. How you can prevent costly damage to your EcoBoost engine? Let's break it down. Ford introduced the EcoBoost engine lineup in 2009, promising the perfect balance of fuel efficiency and power. Using a combination of direct fuel injection, turbocharging and smaller engine displacement, Ford claimed their EcoBoost engines could rival larger V6 and V8 engines while consuming far less fuel. The concept was a major selling point for models like the Ford F-150, Mustang, Escape, Fusion and Edge as well as Lincoln SUVs. By 2015, EcoBoost-powered vehicles were dominating Ford's lineup, and millions of drivers took the gamble on these revolutionary engines. However, as the years passed, thousands of owners started experiencing serious mechanical failures, some of which would lead to total engine replacement. Here are the biggest EcoBoost failures that caused headaches for owners worldwide. One of the most notorious problems with Ford's EcoBoost engines is coolant intrusion a failure that allows engine coolant to leak into the cylinders. Ford's 1.5-litre, 1.6-litre, 2-litre and 2.3-litre EcoBoost engines suffer from a design flaw in the engine block and head gasket. Over time, coolant can slowly leak into the combustion chamber. Drivers typically notice white smoke from the exhaust, misfires, rough idling and unexplained coolant loss. If ignored, coolant intrusion causes severe overheating, warped cylinder heads, and complete engine failure. Real-world cases. In 2022, a Florida man filed a lawsuit against Ford after his 2017 escape with a 1.5-litre EcoBoost suffered an engine failure at just 63,000 miles due to coolant intrusion. Thousands of owners have reported that Ford dealerships refuse to cover repairs, which often cost $6,000 to $10,000 for an engine replacement. Some owners experience multiple engine failures after replacing their first EcoBoost engine. Ford's response, Ford acknowledged the issue in a 2017 technical service bulletin, but did not issue a full recall. In 2020, a class action lawsuit was filed, forcing Ford to extend warranties for some affected models. Newer EcoBoost engines feature redesigned blocks and improved head gaskets, but older models remain at risk. Fix. Regularly check coolant levels and look for white smoke. If coolant loss is detected, get a compression test as soon as possible. Carbon buildup is another long-term problem affecting all EcoBoost engines, especially the 3.5-litre versions found in the Ford F-150 Explorer and Lincoln SUVs. How it happens. EcoBoost engines use direct injection, which sprays fuel directly into the cylinders. Unlike traditional fuel injection, this system does not allow fuel to wash over the intake valves, leading to excessive carbon buildup. Over time, carbon deposits cause power loss, rough idling and engine misfires. Real-world cases, many 3.5-litre EcoBoost owners have reported drastic performance drops after just 50,000 miles. Some drivers paid $1,000 to $2,500 for walnut blasting to clean the intake valves. 
Ford introduced dual fuel injection, port and direct injection on later models to reduce carbon buildup. Ford's response, Ford added port injection in newer EcoBoost engines, particularly in models from 2017 onwards with the 3.5 litre engines. However, they did not offer extended warranties for carbon buildup issues. To fix this problem, owners of older EcoBoost engines should get walnut blasting done every 50,000 miles. This maintenance helps prevent severe power loss. Turbocharger failures have been reported across all EcoBoost engines. Turbocharging is what gives EcoBoost engines their power, but unfortunately many drivers faced early turbo failures. How it happens? Oil starvation and excessive heat cause turbo bearings to fail prematurely. Weak wastegate actuators cause turbo lag and boost pressure problems. 1.6-litre and 2.0-litre EcoBoost models were especially prone to total turbo failure. Real-world cases. Ford issued a 2013 recall for 90,000 vehicles due to turbo failures. F-150 owners with the 3.5-litre EcoBoost complained of intermittent turbo lag and acceleration hesitation. Some drivers faced repair bills exceeding $4,000 for turbo replacements. Ford's response? Ford updated turbo designs and revised software tuning in later models. No full recall was issued for turbo failures. To fix turbocharger failures, use high-quality synthetic oil, avoid cheap aftermarket air filters, and let the engine idle for one to two minutes after driving hard. Timing chain stretching, particularly in the 3.5-litre EcoBoost engines used in the F-150 and Expedition, was a serious issue for pre-2018 models. The timing chain stretches prematurely, causing rattling noises, misfires and eventual engine failure. If the chain skips timing, the engine can suffer catastrophic damage. Ford's response. Ford redesigned the timing chain system in 2018, but owners of older models were left paying $3,000 to $5,000 for replacements. Fix, if you own a 2010 to 2017 3.5 litre EcoBoost, listen for chain rattling at startup and replace the chain before it fails. Ford's EcoBoost engines were designed for efficiency and performance, but design flaws led to serious reliability issues. If you own an EcoBoost-powered Ford, here's how to avoid costly repairs. Monitor coolant levels regularly to detect leaks early. Use high-quality synthetic oil to protect turbochargers. Get carbon cleaning every 50,000 miles. Check for recalls and service bulletins. Have you experienced EcoBoost problems? Share your story in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more real-world automotive fixes from How to Fix.